Alan? Alan! Oh, Alan. What's happened? Are you all right? There's no simple answer to that. Sensitive skin, yeah, on the... Oh, Lord! Most blokes use the phone or the internet for that kind of thing when their wives are away, not both. This is my wife. I'm updating a blog. Oh, I bet you are. What does that mean? Nothing. <laughs> Who's that? Bob. Bob who? Bob Hope. I'm only asking. I'm only telling. <laughs> hey, you've got a fan, Tarzan. Hasn't anyone seen Alan this morning? No sign of him yet. Mm. He'll turn up, love. Right. Hey. Oh. Have we met? We have now. David. Rodney. Blackstock. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I uh, just heard the name. Uh, trap up faces to them all. Oh. You're moving in somewhere, are you? Could be. Well, uh -huh. that's here, right? I reckon you will. Speaking of which. Has that come back from Auntie What's the Face yet? Granny Clegg's love, no, no. When he leaves the village, his whereabouts are a mystery to me. Oh, while well, I think on, uh, there's a driving job going on up, up there. Scooter driving? Not exactly, no, love. But I, I was wondering whether Marlon could fit it in. It'd mean a bit of extra money for the house. Oh, you know, I don't think he can. He's been working all the hours he can get off of Diane, and he's no use to me dead. And he's taken up jogging as it is. <laughs> jogging? Well, that's what he calls it. It's somewhere between lurching and jambling. <laughs> Oh. Just something that I thought would help you, that's all. Right? Buddy. Any word on the results? Not yet, no. At any time. I've got more six sheep there. Well, leave it with me. Sooner the better. I can't afford whatever it is to take hold. Morning. Kelly. What brings you here? Same thing as you. It's my new home, innit? Have I missed something? What? Out here, you mean? Yeah. Gutters could do with a sweep in. No rush, though. You put the kettle on first. Perhaps we should wait until... Well, don't worry. Oh. There's only a few things. We can manage in between us. I mean, we haven't discussed it. Well, he said it was fine. Did he? Well, of course. Why wouldn't he? You've got three bedrooms, haven't you? Ah! Oh, it's a nice outfit you're almost wearing. Very appropriate for the season. Well... Good job it is cold. Oh, your plastic face might melt. Oh, that's good. Just stay up all night thinking of that. No. See, some of us have got better things to do with our evenings. What was it for you last night? 10,000 piece jigsaw and the 100 most beautiful Australians. 99 kangaroos and Rolf Harris. Oh, I see. It's trounce each other's country time, is it? Right. Well, how long have you got, hamster girl? Well, if you don't like it round here, there's plenty of coastline. Why don't you take a dive? I prefer to mix with unfortunates like you. Makes me feel better about myself. Scared your wig will get ruined more like. This is all great, yeah, but if it's gonna get violent, can you move it along a bit? Because I've got eggs here. Yeah, sorry, Donna. Didn't mean to bring down the tone of the neighbourhood, but not as if it could get any worse, is it? Spinster. Ta. Oh, isn't it lovely when we can all get along? What do you call a man who slobbers all over his best friend? Sounds like it should be a joke. <laughs> it is. I am. You are one of the most dignified men I've ever known. This... this thing with Betty... Are you serious? No, it, it, it felt serious. And poor Betty. But my life has changed... so quickly and so unpleasantly in so many different ways. For the first time in ages, I feel I don't know my place. Perhaps I was trying to create one. Your place? 
is in the village. Yes, I always thought so. Nothing's changed. Where are you going? I've no idea. Right, that's it. You're coming to stay with me and Donna for a bit. Oh, no, really? No, no, I'm not asking. <laughs> I'm telling. Now, come on. Get the engine on before we both freeze. Come on. So, what do you make of Tom King and Rosemary getting hitched? Oh, rather <laughs> than me. Anyway, they're in engaged. Well, it's customary to carry it through, isn't it? Like you and Pearl, you mean? <laughs> <gasps> All right, Tish. A bit early for you, innit? Were you just getting in? Would I ever? Who's that night, is it? Oh, yeah, whatever. Sounds good to me. I could do with a touch of warming up, and so could Len. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky cow. Ooh. Right. Babes, I'm going to have to let you know, so I'm sure I've got something planned. Yeah. Speak soon. Bye. That turns sour quick. There's an import here. Where in Portugal? What's the problem? Money? It's a bikini party. Oh. Pads! Hiya. Have you, have, you, have you got one minute? Truthfully. Well, I just wanted a bit of your sage advice. Buy low, sell high, don't eat pink chicken. I don't know, I'll catch you later though, all right? Yeah. Well, I was hoping I'd bump into you. <laughs> Well, what can I do for you? Oh, and keep it clean, cos I'm a respectable woman. Although I do fall off the wagon from time to time. It's funny you should say that. Oi, cheeky. <laughs> Except in your case, I think it's a van. Eh? Oh, now you've lost me. Well, there's a job going at your place, isn't there? Yeah. Hang on. Yesterday it was your dad. What's tomorrow's quest? Well, I'm still looking, but he won't have to put a bit of money in my pockets in the meantime. Yeah, good idea. Um, Eric's due in about lunchtime. I'll just tell him to expect you. Yeah. OK. <laughs> Morning. Hello. Hi, Jack. <laughs> Do you know him? Jack? No. Not yet. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Tish, Tony. Look, sorry, babes, I'm not going to be able to make it. What can I say? It's not enough for me to go round. Yeah, you too. Have a wicked time. Hi, this is Paul. Small for you, I imagine. The attic room. Oh, no kidding. Can't even fit my shoes in there, never mind anything else. It's freezing as well. I'm sure you'll find So put all my stuff in that big room at the front. Well, that's my room. It's got my things in it. Emily, I've seen all your things. Don't need a removal van. Just need big pockets. Anyway, you'll be right at home up there, tucked away. You can pretend you're Anne Frank or something. Well, I'd rather not. Hmm. Not exactly been a dear diary kind of year for you, has it? Not being funny, but is the kettle broke or what? Right. Arctic storm or alpine dusk? We're having the bedroom done. What's the difference? Well, one's smoky white, the other one's white with hints of smoke. Oh, that one. Hey, good choice. You coming? No, I'll just sort this out. Who's your decorator? His name's Tony and he's got Tash. Mine's excellent. What, your Tash? Uh, maybe we should give him a go. Or maybe we should go with Tony. I wouldn't want to see you saddled with inferior workmanship. He won't be. It's our room. In Tom's house. If he's as good as Rosemary says. It's painting. It's shoving a brush in a tin and wafting your arm up and down. Hey, look, Tom, I've always been a great believer in neutral tones for the public rooms and more robust colours for the living quarters. I'm not sure that smoky white says bedroom to me. I'll say something to you in a minute. Uh, why don't we go with Rosemary's bloke and have another look at your colours and see if we can find something a bit more bedroomish? <sighs> What's it got to do with you? Your tenure here as Lady of the House has expired, along with the privileges that came with it. Oh! Mm. I, I can't face Bessie yet. I, I, I know it's pitiable. No, it isn't. Well, you just go park up round the back and I'll nip over and get the rest of your stuff later, eh? Are you sure it's all right, me saying here? I'll make sure it is. Go on. Hey! 
could tie some symbols to your knees and all and do the job right. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I'll shut up, me being the boss and everything. Well, I'm in a bad mood, all right? Well, I'd, I'd, I'd like to ask why, but you know, just not interested. <laughs> Hello, Paddy Kirk. It's what? Oh. No, I've no idea of you. Right, all right, yeah, I will do. Thanks very much. Bye. Andy's going to do his nut. Why, what's up? Them samples are useless. We have to do them again. Did they say how it happened? No, there's no way of telling, is there? Oh, downer. He's going to think I'm incompetent now. Andy, no, he won't. I swear to you, I did, I, I, I did everything exactly the same as I usually do. What, what did you do with them when you went yesterday? I sent them. Straight away? Well, not the very next second, but yeah. And, and, and nobody came in that could have... I don't know. Look, Paddy, it'll have been a mistake. It could have happened to anyone. Yeah, it happened to me, didn't it? When Harry was away. And now he's going to think I'm incompetent. Not being able to cope on me own. He's probably right. <laughs> What are you doing more tests for? But the others were inconclusive. Meaning what? They were ruined, Andy. I'm sorry, I, I don't know. I won't be long. But is there nothing you can do now? Well, I can give them something, but I'd only be guessing what was wrong with them, and you could end up spending a fortune on, on nothing. Look, I'll get these over to the lab myself, and I'll wait for the results, and then as soon as we get them, then we're in business. Well, if I'm still in business... Hiya! <laughs> oh, you decided to take the plunge, then? Oh, Mr Pollard. This is David Metcalf. He's here about the job. And does David speak? He does. Hello, Mr Pollard. Uh, come through. Hello? Uh, yes? Uh, yes, this is he. Uh, no. No, 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 that, that, that is not acceptable. Well, yes, of course, I just told my client that my supplier is a complete imbecile, incapable of meeting the most generous of deadlines, and I'm sure they will understand. And they take away their thousands of pounds worth of business. Well, I'm not the one who put your child in hospital, am I? Well, listen. Don't worry, he's not always like that. Yeah, sometimes he's in a bad mood. <laughs> oh. Hiya. Um, is it about Alan? Now we see. He's he's fine. He's just a bit worried. He's upset, yeah. <laughs> um, I've uh, I've just come round for a few of his things. If that's all right. Oh no. Where is he? At the pub. He's just going to stop with us for a bit. Oh, there's no need for that. I was going to have a word. Oh, no, no, don't, Betty. I think, I, think he's, I think he wants to be on his own. Well, I don't want him fretting, but there's no cause to hide from me. Hey, I know, you're kind. I, I, you can just leave for a bit. Right, you'd, you'd better go up. I don't care if a head's being held onto her shoulders with post-it notes. We had an agreement. He seems a bit highly strung. You've just got to know how to deal with him, right? I've had enough run-ins with him to know. You worked here long? Oh, on and off. Most of our lot have, at some point. Your lot? Us Dingles. Ah. Del, he knows the name. Should we be worried? <laughs> Are you two? Yeah, yeah, somehow, er, uh, it's complicated. <laughs> There's a lot of us. <laughs> I'd better keep on the right side of you then, Anna. Mm -hmm. Well, you're doing okay so far. Yeah, you're better off. You'll have Zach to deal with. And who's that? My uncle. My husband. He's sort of the head of the clan. Right. Katie, get Paddy now. I've got sheep dying. I thought it was you I saw sneaking in here. Drinking alone in the middle of the day, whatever has become of you, Emily Kirk? 
Apart from being made to feel like an unwanted guest in my own home, you mean? Oh, something's happened. Better tell me. You know very well what's happened. With the greatest respect, Emily dear, if I did, I wouldn't be asking. Well, I need a drink too. We will both be needing plenty on a regular basis if she carries on like this. She being? Kelly. Oh, OK. She's upset you. You've upset me. Inviting her in without so much as a word to me. Inviting her? For what? Forever, I shouldn't wonder. She hasn't. She has. Into my room this morning. How? What am I... How? Have you ever tried stopping Kelly Windsor from getting what she wants? She's found out that we've got slightly more bedrooms than we let on. And then she had this big song and dance about you and her promising to look out for each other. Now she's crowded in her bibs. You wicked boy. Throwing a young woman on the mercy of our overcrowded family. You've got plenty of room to spare, both here and at home. I'll just be shutting up now. Mm. Has she been dreadful? She's been Kelly. Mother, another one of whatever Emily's having, and I better have two. You took your time. What colour did you go for? None. I got these. Houses? What's brought this on? Oh, nothing. Just being about ten years too old to live with your dad. <laughs> Whereas yesterday you weren't. Oh, come on. It's stifling living up there, especially now that Rosemary Queen of Snots has wangled the way in. <laughs> I thought you were going to give her a chance. No, you asked me to, I didn't answer. Anyway, it's about living our own lives. I don't want to have to ask your dad every time I want to put a picture up. I'll do it anyway. He has had a bit of a rough time recently. Oh, so have most folk, and they don't have their grown-up sons living with them. Anyway, it's not like he's given two hoots about the way you've been feeling recently, is it? Hmm? Why does the world conspire against me? Oh. Um, Mr Pollard? Ah, oh, uh, can you drive? Yeah. Are you an idiot? No. Congratulations, you got the job. Trial period. If you mess up, you're fired. If you're late, you're fired. And if for any reason you get on my nerves... I'm fired. <laughs> and so is she, as she appears to be your sponsor. Who knows, he may not come to it. Oh, what does it pay? Peanuts. Start tomorrow. And don't hang around talking to the staff. They'll only make you bitter. Looks like we'll see more of you then. I reckon you will. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where you hang out. At lunchtime, yeah. Mm. We are um, we're thinking of getting a place, me and Chaz. This morning you were decorating your room. Well, it's not our room, is it? It's your home. So will this be? I have done it before. Yeah, more than once. There was a time when these things were for keeps. Oh. Me and Chaz are for keeps. Well, until you're not. I just don't want you rushing into anything. <laughs> no, cos you'd never do that, would you? No. Oh, well, you're too old for me to stop you. I'm too pig-headed, even if you weren't. Well, I'll take that as a good look, then, shall I? Andy, what's happened? I've got the test results. It, it, it was subacute liver fluke. I can treat them now. Oh, well, that's great. For them that are still alive. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? I've got three dead sheep out there, and who knows how many others going the same way? Well, none if I can help it. Well, pardon me if you don't fill me with confidence. Andy, I thought it was this, but I can't start treating animals based on guesswork, can I? It's unprofessional and there's procedures. Do you think the sheep care? Oh, I won't stuff it because they're following a procedure. Think I care? I just want to get it sorted. Could have been done yesterday. I didn't want to waste your money. You wasted it by killing my sheep. Andy, that's not fair. I don't care. This is the third time you've been round for this. If the test was that important, you should have done a proper job instead of messing up having to come back. That's what's unprofessional. Still think it's not my fault. 